Hey, what is going on, Libras? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. With all that being said, let's get it. Nurse, what's going on for Libras? message do we have for the Libras? Right, Libras. So the first thing I see is I feel like this is someone. There's this energy around you with this person. First thing I see is I mean, we have the magician. You know, I feel like it's it's like that trickster energy here with this with this magician, and we have the the knight of knight of wands in reverse. It's, it's a player energy with this person. You know, I feel like this person has no idea what they want. Uh, but that doesn't stop them from selling you a dream. You know, I feel like this person is very much so trying to confuse you and keep you on the ropes. You know, I I mean, I feel like what's going on right in front of you, they're trying to hide that from you. They're trying to hide that from you uh, with that two of swords not seeing what's right in front of you because I, I feel like this person's putting a lot of work into keeping keeping their secrets. You know, I feel like this person is selling you I mean they're selling you the dream. You know, I feel like they're very good at knowing what you want. And I feel like they're very good at convincing you that that's what they're offering. But I feel like emotionally, this person is very unstable, you know, and very immature as well. I mean, I feel like with that King of Cups in reverse, I feel like this person, like I said, they don't know what they want, but yet they're telling you a different story. You know, they're always keeping you thinking, always keeping you on your toes. It's a very quick moving energy with this person as well. Because I feel like, like the magician, like a real life magician, it's a sleight of hand. As long as they have you focused on what's over here, you're not seeing what's going on back here, behind the scenes. There's a reason this person wants to be next to you and be with you. But it's not for any reason that you'd want them to, you know, it's not for what they're telling you. You know, you bring something to this person that they need at this point. So they're, you know, it's like they're convincing you of all these things. And I feel like there's a little bit of gaslighting going on as well. I feel like sometimes there may be moments when, when, when you start to see, you know, that veil coming off them, but they're very good at convincing you that it's you that's seeing things wrong. You know, they're very good at convincing you that it's you that's causing this issue when there is no issue. And they might even use those exact words, you know, causing a problem where there is none. I mean, I feel like this person's in their own self-imposed prison. You know, and I don't feel like that's going to change. You know, I don't see any changes ahead for this person. You know, I feel like they're very stuck in their way. But like I said, there is something they want from you, but... I don't really feel like it's anything you want to offer. Not to this person. 
You know, I feel like this person isn't honest with you. You know, I feel like this person is deceitful. You know, we have the Seven of Swords hiding secrets. Uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. You know, it, it's a very... It, it's It's mental manipulation. It's doing whatever they have to do to get whatever they want. And if you don't coincide with that, I feel like that's when the drama will start. If it hasn't already. You know, I feel like... You know, they're acting like they have it together, but they really don't. And I feel like when anytime you call them out, this person just goes cold on you. But they always seem to keep coming back because, like I said, there is something that they need from you. There's something that they want from you. But it's not what they're asking for. You know, what's going on behind the shade is what we need to look at here and understand. You know, I feel like they're trying to outsmart you, but they're not doing it very well because I feel like you can see through it. You know, I feel like there's moments when it become very clear. Like I said, that veil starts to come off and you start to see things. And that's when this person goes cold on you. This per That's when the person, you know, cuts off communication. And with, the, with an air sign, communication is key. And I feel like this person knows what they're doing when they do that. Like I said, I feel like they're, they're very much convincing you. Anytime you have an issue or anytime you bring up an issue, they're convincing you that it's your issue. And it's you creating that issue. Uh, you know, always, like I said, with the gaslighting, always convincing you you're the problem. Always making you feel like you're the issue. You know, and I feel like it does cause anxiety and sleepless nights. And I feel like the one thing for a Libra is, a Libras really don't like the drama. So it's almost like, I, I feel like this person pushes you in a place that you're uncomfortable so that, you know, they, it, it's a way of manipulating you to just give them what they want rather than deal with the, with the bullshit. Like I said, I mean, this, this person is very good at manipulating. But I mean, we have the King of Swords. We have the King of Hearts. Or the King of Hearts. The King of Cups. With a heart on it. King of Cups and the King of Wands all in reverse. You know, this person has nothing. I, I, I feel like they're... Everything they're offering you is just ice cubes. You know, it'll melt away in no time. It's it's nothing sustainable. Unless you live in the frozen tundra. Um, but like I said, they're always trying to convince you that you're the problem. You know, I feel like this, this person puts in a lot of work, like I said, with that ten of wands. But all I see is chaos with this person. I see. I feel like it is going to get worse. You know, there is going to be more of that chaotic energy with that tower card. Things are falling apart. And at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to get hurt. Because emotionally, they're not invested in this. No matter what they're trying to sell you, they're not emotionally invested. So there's no way they can get hurt. And I feel like that's part of their plan. You know, it's, it's a very narcissistic energy with this person. Like I said, there is something they want from you. But I really don't feel like it's anything you want to offer. Now, I like I said, I feel like that anxiety you feel, I mean, that's what they want you to feel. They want you to second guess yourself. They want you to cave to their will. Because as long as you cave, as long as they can control you, they'll continue to want to control you. And like I said, I feel like for those this resonates with, I feel like you already know what I'm saying. I feel like you already felt it. You know, your intuition is already telling you this. This is more of a confirmation. And like I said, I don't see this changing. You know, I don't see this person nurturing this connection in the way that you need it to be nurtured. I don't feel like this person shows up for you in the way you need them to show up. You know, is that player energy? Like I said, they're playing you. They're trying to get what they want. But they're not offering anything. You know, and and like I said, the longer this goes on, the worse it's going to get, you know, causing more turbulation, uh, more drama, more chaos. And at the end, the end result is you getting hurt and then just moving on. You know, like I said, it's very immature emotionally and mentally. 
Uh, they're trying to outsmart you, which is probably not a great idea because as far as I'm concerned, you know, air signs are always known to be very intelligent, but Libras, as much as anyone else, um, you know, I feel like outsmarting a an air sign in general is probably not the greatest idea. You know, thinking that you outsmarted them. But like I said, I feel like they're very good at telling you what you want to hear. So it makes it harder to see through the bullshit. But I feel like there's times when that, like I said, the, the veil comes off and I feel like that's when they kind of go cold on you. That's when they kind of shut you out. Um, like I said, I mean, with that, with that eight of swords and that eight of wands in reverse, that's the game. You know, they act like the good person. They act like they're, they're all about it. And then they act very offended when it doesn't go their way. And they cause drama. They cause, you know, you to have that anxiety, the late nights overthinking. Because that's where they want you. They want you confused. Because as long as they can keep you confused in their mind, they can always control it. With this person... We have Leo, we have Sagittarius, and some Aries as well. We have some Gemini, some Aquarius. No Cancer and Scorpio. You know, and, and it, that's the thing, I mean, Always trust your intuition. Sometimes, you know, people don't listen to it because it's not telling you what you want to hear. But your intuition is always going to tell you what you need to hear, not always what you want to hear. And sometimes it can be hard to hear the truth. You know, and some people are very good at manipulating. You know, they make you believe things that aren't even true. And it's not because you're, you're being outsmarted. It's because you want to believe them. Because you do, you know, I feel like you have feelings for this person. And you want to believe them. So part of you kind of lets them get away with a little bit more than they should. Because you want to trust them. You want to believe in them. Um, but that's when it gets very dangerous. You know, people. some people are very good at knowing what we want. Some people are very attentive. You know, in the beginning of the relationship, they're very attentive. And they, they learn about us. And they, but they're not learning about us because they want to get to know us. They're learning how to hurt us. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people in the world like that. And they've been hurt and whatever happened to them. But that doesn't excuse the behavior. I mean, it's, uh, I dated this girl in high school. And she wasn't in high school. She was a few years older than me. And I remember, I, I you know, I had a good job I always I always worked hard um I had a good job you know I was captain of the hockey team you know it's I had a lot of things going for me and and she almost she always like convinced me when we were having an argument she always convinced me that I was being you know I was overthinking or I was being uh too much but it was like I feel like I, I had a vehicle. She didn't have a vehicle. You know, I had an apartment when I was in grade 12. I had a job, an apartment. I was in grade 12. I was captain of the hockey team. You know, not a whole lot of great stuff, but for immaturity purposes, for someone that's young, it was a lot. And I, I knew she was using me, but I allowed to go on longer than I should. And one day I just, I couldn't ignore the truth anymore. You know, she was using me for a place to stay. She was using me for rides. She was using me, you know, um, to borrow money. And it was just, I wanted to believe that she wasn't that person. But she was. <laughs> but I figured it out. You know, they can only keep the mask on so long. But moved on to bigger, better things. And so will you.
You know, that's, that's the thing I always try to stress in all my reads. Even the negative reads, you, you, there's a positive message there. You know, and one of the main things you can learn is that sometimes you learn that that person isn't the person for you, so you can check them off the list. Now you only got a few billion more people to go. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but no, in all honesty, though, you know, I feel like every relation, every relationship you ever go through, the good, the bad, the ugly, there's a learning, you know, there's something to learn from that. And as long as you learn from it, it wasn't all bad. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.